Okay. And John, island is an island in itself, yeah? However, we have many small coastal islands representing perhaps most vulnerable environments in the context of the ongoing sea level change, as you said. Um, in your opinion, what would, what, what would be the main impacts of climate change on islands, coastal islands? And what timeline are we looking at? Uh, well, Ireland's islands are, are generally located on the west coast, the f f really uh, crenulated coast of the west where there's lots of inlets and lots of uh, bays and so on. Um, and most of those islands are actually made of hard rock, so I, I don't worry too much about our, our west coast islands. Um, there are obviously places in our inner estuaries like um, um, like Bull Island and Dublin Bay, which are, are going to be very exposed and very vulnerable. Um, but I don't honestly see uh, a really big problem um, in, the in the medium term for our west coast islands. Um, I think we're looking maybe at a one metre rise in sea level for the next century. So uh, I think most in most cases the coastline of, of many of those west coast islands can, can stand up to that okay. Um, I'm more concerned with, um, with the, the soft coast that you get in the easter half, eastern half of the country. I'm more concerned with things like the Shannon Estuary, uh, which has a lot of low-lying land close mm -hmm. to sea level. Um, and there are some places, uh, admittedly, uh, in, the, in the west coast um, where there are sandy estuaries. But for the most part, if you're thinking of Achill, if you're thinking of the Arden Islands, if you're thinking of islands uh, off the, the Mayo coast, for the most part, um, they, they are hard rock and they will survive okay. Mm -hmm.